Hi guys, welcome back. This is a video I've been meaning to film for a little while and I got the perfect opportunity because I'm filming it for a reel. I wanted to put together a number of dresses, like wedding appropriate bridal dresses that weren't like the norm, you know, going to beautiful bridal boutique, which obviously is absolutely wonderful. But for a lot of you who may have had issues due to COVID, some of you may have come across some issues with your dresses or your dress designers over the last two years, or maybe you've had a, a wedding pushback. I know a lot of you have messaged me and said, look, I'm at the point now where I'm so fed up with what's happened and I just want to buy a wedding dress. What would you recommend? So I thought it'd be kind of nice to pick a couple of wedding dresses that I found online that I thought were just really beautiful and elegant and would fit the like, most beautiful wedding if you wanted to do something a bit more simple and a bit more unique, I guess. So that's what this is going to be. Just a disclaimer, it is about 30 degrees today. I'm in my closet and <laughs> it's hotter than the sun in this room. I have to have the Dyson fan off so you can hear me. So <sighs> I could, I've been putting this off all day and I can't put it off any longer. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get going with it. So I've just hung up some of the dresses straight off the bat just to make sure that the, this just needs a little steam but otherwise I have six gorgeous alternatives all slightly different I've got a jumpsuit in here I've got a long dress I have no in fact I've got two jumpsuits I think a couple of dresses a two-piece and then a halter neck as well so all slightly different necklines right let's get cracking no matter how hot I am, I can tell I'm going to really enjoy this video. Okay, first up, this is a tiny bit too big for me. And obviously, I think the thing that you should bear in mind with any dress that you buy kind of online that isn't from a boutique, you can still always take it to someone to get it slightly more tailored. So if, for example, you bought this, like, say if this was my wedding dress, I would just go to a tailor and make sure I, like, you know, got it nipped and tucked in so it fit me like perfection. This is the first jumpsuit. What is so beautiful about it is it's got this extra like silky tool covering over each leg that just makes it look so ethereal. I mean, I absolutely adore a jumpsuit and I think a jumpsuit for a wedding would be so ideal, especially for example, if you're getting married in, you know, like a small, small little wedding venue somewhere and you've just got a small amount of people there and it's nothing like too massive and, you know, not, nothing too fancy and showy. And you just want to look really demure and super sophisticated. This would be such a gorgeous option. I mean, I actually love the fit of this. This is just absolutely divine. It is so beautiful. Again, this drape down the back almost if you had your legs together it would almost look a bit like a long skirt the way this comes together at the bottom you have to throw in also beautiful nude stilettos for this because it look perfect in a pointed toe and just like hair down really kind of simple and chilled and then i've just put on a few gold accents i'll also just put it on with some of my edge of ember jewelry because i've realized just how perfect some of the pieces are for wedding season and for bridesmaids or for brides we've got so many really beautiful like pearl pieces it'll actually they'll actually be so perfect for brides so yeah this is the first look i would love to kind of know in the comments out of these six outfits i'll show you which is your absolute favorite so this is number one the first jumpsuit and of course i'll leave everything linked down below as well in case you are looking for something and you're interested equally though this would be the most beautiful like garden party jumpsuit vibe as well i'm a little bit in love with this i must admit so this is a wedding outfit number one Okay, next up, um, again, I think I'm gonna love every single dress in this because I mean, wedding dresses are made to make you feel like an absolute princess. This is from a brand I absolutely adore. I've picked up a few of their dresses before and they are just the most sparkly, beautiful pieces but still really elegant and have this more kind of mature, classic feel to them. So this is probably more of like an evening wedding dress. This would be so dreamy. In the evening of your wedding, when you've worn your more kind of demure, maybe silky piece for the ceremony, and you wanna change into something that's gonna kind of sparkle as the lights hit you on the dance floor, you just wanna feel absolutely incredible. This fits so well. I don't think I'd even really take this in or change it in any way. I actually haven't done it. There's a button here at the back which just does up here. I'll be honest, I can't do it up and I'm so hot and I'm scared I'm not gonna be able to get it off afterwards. So yeah, just so you know. So it buttons beautifully here to a bit of a keyhole back. 
And then it has this beautiful velvet belt that finishes off with sequins to the very end. Um, and the most beautiful thing about it is this slit up the leg. So it's just a little bit more sexy. It's got something so like unique and stunning about it. To match with the kind of sequinness of everything, I've gone for one of my wedding shoes. I wore these shoes. I think these were my dancing shoes. I think I wore these to dance in for my wedding on my wedding night. And in fact, I've also put it with my edge of ember ankle and it looks so pretty together. So just that little bit of leg, that little bit of kind of movement in the dress, it's a bit more sexy and beautiful. I think this is such an incredible evening wedding dress. Or if you want to kind of break the mold a little bit, go for this as a ceremony dress. I mean, why the hell not? It's absolutely stunning. I feel like a mermaid princess in this. It's so figure hugging and flattering. Yeah, I think it's gorgeous and you just go for a really natural, simple makeup. I've literally just tied my hair into a bobble just to scrape it off my neck. Yeah, again, I just left the pearls with it because I loved how it framed this neckline. I think this is such a gorgeous choice. <laughs> okay, next up we have a two-piece, a beautiful silky camisole and I've just tucked that into the matching silky midi skirt. Again, such a beautiful, sophisticated option. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous silky fabric. It fits beautifully, I love the cowl neck. Again, it's somewhat a little bit more sexy and a little bit more skin, but still very covered. It feels quite glamorous and classic in the shape, but it's stunning. It's almost a bit of a mermaid tail feel to this at the bottom, a little bit more shape around the legs. And then I've put this on with my pink Jean Vito Rossi is just a little bit of pretty pink vibes. And again, I've just changed up the jewellery a little bit. Again, the perfect kind of wedding necklace, to be honest. Again, for either bridesmaids or brides. With the matching with beautiful little pearl droplet hoops. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. Kind of thing where you just add a really simple white bag to this just in case you want to hold your lipstick or your phone or your camera for the evening. I know that for my wedding I had all of my items dispersed across my friends so one person had my phone another had my lipstick and then later on when I had my evening dress on I had pockets. I'd designed my bridal dress with Philippa Lepley to have pockets so I had my lipstick in the pocket and it was a game changer, absolutely amazing. But if not, just a cute little tiny bag. This one is just a little Fendi peekaboo. It's a gorgeous little piece. And then I have just tucked my hair behind my ears and pushed my hair back so it's not forward, just to kind of let this detail of the cowl neck show and the necklace. I think sometimes if you have too much hair forward, it can take away very much from what you've got going on up front. So I've got very loose two little curls, just tucked really simply behind. I think it just looks really, beautiful and simple and subtle. Tell you what, if any of you guys need a bit of like a confidence boost, buy yourself a few wedding dresses to try on or go go try on some wedding dresses because I'm feeling wonderful today, albeit about 35 degrees right now. But I'm just about getting through it guys. <laughs> what do you think? This is look number three because this is a beautiful two-piece. Yeah, forgive me, I need to tuck it a little better and kind of leave a bit of an overhang just so that you don't get that inside um, silk but I think it's absolutely stunning. Up next, we have this dream boat of an outfit, and there is a tag right in the midriff of this, so I hope you can kind of see around that. But it is a beautiful jumpsuit again, but with this stunning floral embroidery. This is so beautifully bridal. I feel wonderful in this. Again, it fits beautifully, and you've got some pockets. It's on, again, some aquasuras. I just love these shoes so much. But these are kind of like a collot leg, a little slightly wider cropped leg. Perfect if it is slightly warmer weather. This isn't quite as hot as everything else has been. It's wonderfully fitted and just fits beautifully. I feel really beautiful in this. I actually love the back. I think there is a different way of tying this back, but I actually really love the way I've just tucked it down like this to be honest, to leave a fully open back. But there are two pieces of twirl that you could pull together. Um, here at the back too. Yeah, I think overall this is such a gorgeous piece. I've also just paired this again with my cute little Chanel, perfect size, perfect kind of bridal sized bag for the day. And it's got the beautiful strap with it as well. So I put it with this. I've just left on the same jewellery as before because I thought it worked so perfectly. 
this look. I'd say so far this is the most feminine of all of the pieces. Um, you've kind of got that more androgynous feel to the trousers, but you've got a very beautiful bridal feel to the top half as well. Wow, okay, final dress of the video, guys, and it's, it's a good one. I'm just gonna put it on with these shoes quickly. I thought, before I put them on, I'll quickly show you, because I'm probably not gonna be able to show you underneath the dress. Just my aquazoras. These gems over the top of the toe, and then a really lovely suede and kind of diamond wrap around the ankle. They are such a goodie. Okay, the final, final dress is heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. This fits so beautiful. The back is gorgeous. It's just got this beautiful... Could that come in more? Oh wow, maybe it could. Oh yeah, that could probably be tied in a little bit more. So yeah, I just had Alex help me get into this. But look how beautiful that back is with the beautiful, the gorgeous buttons. And then this low swooping back it is absolutely stunning. Just to slightly change up the, the jewellery again, I thought it looked beautiful with the Athene pendant and it just works perfectly and I've just put that with the Athene hoops as well so it has the matching little mother of pearl pendant. You can also have this engraved so you could have you know your partner's name, you could have that engraved into the back for instance which would be beautiful um, and then we also have the matching Athene rings so I've kind of put those all together. I'm also wearing my brand new Bulgari ring as well which is beautiful. I did just quickly steam this but I've been bending over to do up my shoes <laughs> And um, because of the heat, it's slightly creased, but obviously on your wedding day, you'll have this perfect. I'm pretty sure you won't be bending over doing anything on your wedding day. You'll have your bridesmaids helping, etc. But let me, let me step back just to show you the absolute beauty of this dress. Hope you can see. So yeah, with the aquasuras, have a little bit of neutral suede with the gems to add a little thunder. <laughs> no, it's so hot. I'm so glad this thunder needs to break this heat. Um, the gems just give that little pop of kind of glamour, beauty. And then this dress, I mean, it cinches in all the right places. I feel beautiful in this dress. <laughs> I've really quickly took my hair into a low bun. I wish I had a hairdresser here with me, but you kind of get the idea. It's a gorgeous little low bun. You can have little bits out at the front. And with all the jewellery and everything, it is just so classy and elegant. Oh, God, I feel beautiful in this dress. I feel amazing. Um, I would probably pair it with something like my Bulgari America Transi bag. This again is the dreamiest of kind of wedding bridal bags. If you were wanting to treat yourself to something, it's kind of the perfect time, isn't it? When you get married and you need a new perfect bag for the occasion or to travel to your event in, it's kind of nice. Uh, but this is a beautiful creamy shade. All the golds will go with the jewellery. It is just so like classically bridal but so kind of toned down and understated in like the most perfect ways, isn't it? Yeah, I feel just amazing in this. So yeah, I'll leave it linked down below guys. Um, also, I'm so sorry to say but there were meant to be six dresses. I just tried to get into the sixth dress and that was going nowhere on me. It was tiny, I think it might have been like a size four, maybe two and there was no way I was getting into it. So instead, I'm keeping this to five dresses instead, but I still think I found some incredible, incredible pieces with some really good prices in there as well. Like we're not talking the super mega book luxury here. There's kind of one in sort of every category, I feel. So I'll leave them all linked down below for you in case you are interested. But overall, I kind of just hope that this has helped you with a bit of inspiration, whether it's neckline, whether it's silhouette, the shape, the fabrics, um, the accessories, the jewellery, the hair, anything. I hope I was able to inspire you in some way. Despite the heat, I've really, really enjoyed this. It's been a beautiful video to film. I just hope that it's helped some of you. Congratulations to any of you that are getting married and I hope you have the most perfect wedding day. I'm very excited for you. If I could get married all over again, I most absolutely would. It was the best day of my entire life. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're brand new and haven't subscribed yet, it'd be amazing if you hit the subscribe button and come back again soon so you don't miss my videos and um, I'll see you soon.